as you're spiritually awakening, you may have realized that you have a lot of highs and a lot of low days as well, but never really in the middle where you have that balance. And if that's you, in this video, I want to share with you some tips on how you can find balance because as you're going through your spiritual awakening, you're going to have those highs and lows, but it's really important to find a balance so you really can enjoy this journey that is really the most important journey that you're really on to really awaken to the truth of who you are and discover your path and all of those different things but it's really truly important to find that balance so if you would like to find out how you can find more balance so you have less highs and lows and more so be more balanced have more an equal and smooth ride then stay tuned because in this video i'm going to share some tips with you on how you can do that stay tuned <music> Hello the beautiful soul, welcome back and if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. In case you don't know me, my name is Kay Sanders, I'm a divine messenger and celestial healer here to assist awakening souls on their spiritual awakening journey so they can really awaken more gracefully without all the overwhelm and frustration so they can really step into their power, awaken to their power within and really create the life and abundance, success and freedom that they desire all will make a bigger impact in the world without being bugged down by their spiritual awakening. So if that's you, I want to invite you, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I release new content every Tuesday and every Thursday. So you may have already had those days where you felt really amazing. So where you're really absolutely on top of the world, you're feeling so great, everything flows, you're manifesting like crazy, everything is just so easy. But then you also have those days where you come out of this high vibe and you feel like you're having like a little bit, somewhat of a crash landing where you just totally hit rock bottom and nothing works. You feel like you're stuck in the mud. Everything is so heavy, so frustrating. Nothing works the way you want it to work. And you're just wondering why you just, all you want is going back to that high vibe where everything is just so much better. You, everything is just so much easier. But instead of moving back into that, you're actually feeling more frustrated because you can't seem to get back into that, which and actually moves you more into resistance. Does it kind of sound familiar to you? Do you have those times when you're really absolutely top of the world? Everything is just so amazing and you have those days where you really just hit rock bottom. Now, being on your spiritual awakening journey, unfortunately, that can be part of it. And especially if you're an empath and highly sensitive soul. For us, it's really even more challenging to find that balance because if we don't know how to protect ourselves, if we don't have those practices to really find that balance, it can be truly like an up and down and up and down. Nothing like, you know, like a smooth riding, maybe with a, some ups and downs, like small ups and downs, but no, it's like really like massively up, massively down. If you're experiencing that, that really just means that you haven't found the middle line yet because it can be easier for you to go through the spiritual awakening to go about your path to go about your life without having these massive ups and downs because quite frankly i mean it can leave you quite uh overwhelmed and frustrated if you don't know how to best handle it how to best embrace your journey without really being so affected by all that comes with your spiritual awakening. So that's why I feel you were guided to this video because maybe you do want to find out how can you find that balance, which I'm about to share with you. So you can really embrace this journey because it's really about embracing your spiritual awakening. That's when you really get to experience these really amazing things and these really amazing experiences. But of course, you know, it's about having the right practices to find the balance. The first thing that I want to point out is go with the flow. When you feel like you need to rest, do so. When you feel like you want to do something, do that. It's really about listening within and going with the flow. It's not about figuring stuff out or making stuff happen and doing a whole lot. Sometimes you need that time to just go within, to really go with the flow, go with what feels right. Because when you try to make stuff happen, you're actually moving into resistance because everything happens in divine timing. You cannot force anything to happen. Now you can take those aligned steps, those soul aligned, soul inspired actions, but it's about being in the flow of things because you've probably realized whenever you're in a high vibe, you're in the flow. Things 
go smoothly. It feels like you're swimming with the stream rather than against it. But when you are moving into resistance, when you're going into this whole, I got to do, 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 or I got to figure this out, I got to make stuff happen, then you're moving into resistance because that is ego trying to tell you, you got to do more to whatever, right? That you have to do this, that this is the right thing to do. But if it doesn't feel right, you're actually moving in resistance. So the more you can go with the flow and really listen to your body, and listen to what does your body need? What do you feel called to do right now? And really just go with the flow. That's the number one thing is to find that balance because the more you go into resistance and then the doing, well, then you're causing friction. And that's when you create those ups and downs because when you're in the flow, you're up. When you're moving resistance, you're down. So that's why you want to really go with the flow to be more in balance so you don't get knocked off course whenever you move into resistance, right? because then you can also become aware more when you are in resistance. Which brings me to the next one is know when you are frustrated. Become aware when things don't feel right, when things feel like you're kind of about to walk through mud again, when you don't feel right, when something doesn't feel okay. Usually our feelings is a good indicator of that something is not right. Because if one moment you're feeling great and all of a sudden you're feeling not okay, maybe you feel a little constricted or whatnot, not good in your skin, that's a good way for you to then, it's a good indicator for you to then to tune in to find out, well, what's going on here? What am I feeling here? Am I in resistance or what's going on? Now, when you are feeling that, that could also mean that, well, it could mean two things. When you're not, when you're feeling not okay, it could mean that you are in resistance and that gives you the opportunity to investigate more, to find out why are you resisting it? What's going on? What are the fears behind it? Or it could simply mean that you are in growing pains, where you are moving into a territory that you're not quite familiar with. And it's just that, that should I really, I mean, you know, I want to, but I, I, you know, I'm just going a little slower. So there are going to be growing pains as you're awakening because you are growing into a new way of being. It's think of it like that. When you buy brand new shoes, they're not going to feel as comfortable as the shoes you have been wearing for years, right? So it's going to be a time where you have to get used to the sh new shoe. It's the same thing with as you are ascending, as you're awakening. Anytime you're leveling up into that, moving into that next stage of your awakening, there are going to be growing pains. But really knowing that when you're not okay and I'm really assessing what's going on here, am I just in resistance? Or are you working through something, like really going through those growing pains? That's the second thing, is really becoming aware of that. Then the third one is have daily practices of cleansing, grounding, raising your vibration, even meditation, you know, to really be in the here and now. Especially as you are, you know, developing your empathic gifts more, as you're becoming more sensitive, it is even more so important that you do a cleansing uh, practice to really cleanse your energy, to cut cords, to pull yourself back from wherever you left yourself. I did a video about that, about, you know, empath survival tips. Like I actually have a playlist for empath as well. So if you want to check that out and see what feels in alignment with you, what you want to learn about. But having those daily practices is really, really important. Even a grounding practice to really ground yourself in the here and now will help you then also be less, you know, be less on this emotional roller coaster of ups and downs. So it's really being grounded in here now is really, really important as well. So having those daily practices can help you find more of a balance because it's when we are very uh, bugged down by all these energies, by what's going on, that that's what's causing inner turmoil, that inner interference and even the resistance and the, the friction, which then causes that massive, you know, rock bottom kind of experience that also pushes you out of your alignment. So that's why those daily practices, the daily practice is all about keeping you in alignment, keeping you centered, keeping you in connected with your soul. And then from there, you can then really be in the flow of doing things what feels right to you. So having those daily practices really, really empower, really, really powerful and very, very important as well. And the next tip is your surrounding also has a very big influence on you. So if you're always surrounded by toxic people, negative people, well, that affects you, especially if you're a highly sensitive soul, if you're an empath, you are picking up on their stuff. 
So your surrounding also very, very impactful onto your life on how you feel as well. So here having those practices also to protect yourself is very important to protect your energy. And here you may see if you can cut people out of your life or just not spend as much time with them. Or of course, if it's at work, it may be a little difficult, but then here really have those practices to protect yourself, to really protect your energy. So you won't be affected by that. But then you can also beautify your surroundings as well. So let's say you have a cubicle or you have a home office or just your home in general. You can put maybe flowers there, you know, decorate it really nicely. It, the point is where you feel good because your surrounding has an effect on how you feel as well. So if you're at home or in your office or whatnot and it's just a lot of stuff is everywhere, it's very cluttered, then of course you're probably not going to feel good. So clean up your office, clean up your space, put some nice things there, put some flowers there or something like that where you really feel good because you, you can, your surrounding can help you feel better. Your surrounding can also help you uplift your vibration as well. They can also help you feel better so you can stay more in the high vibe rather than being all bugged down by it. So your surrounding is really, really impactful as well on how you feel. Like I said, also the people. Now, of course, there are certain people that maybe you can't cut out of your life, especially if it's like family or whatnot, but here then you can learn how to protect yourself. You can learn how to not allow them to pull you down because it's a choice. You can give your power away to your surrounding situations, people in your life that make you feel low, or you can decide to keep your power, say, mm -mm, I'm not going to let that bug me down. I'm not going to let me affect me, affect that. So then you can do your whatever it is that you need to do to protect yourself or to just change your perception around certain things. So it's really in your power to choose you over whatever is around you. But your surrounding also has a very big impact on how you feel. So if you want to feel better, change your surroundings as well. And the next tip is self-care. Self-care is so huge because as you're awakening, you're going to need more time to yourself. So you may have already realized that you like to be by yourself more. You're kind of like in that hermit phase or whatnot. You like to just kind of go in, which is, which is very, very important. Also, another note on self-care is if you feel you just want to take a nap or you feel like you want to rest more, maybe sleep more, listen to that. Listen to your body because Oftentimes when you're sleeping, when you're resting, you're actually working. You're working on a different level, on an internal level. You're healing, you're releasing, you're shedding, you're awakening, you're growing because your, your team of guides is also there helping you as well on the etheric level, on the energetic level. So self-care is really important because you can't just constantly go, 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 go just because you want to, because you're like, I don't want to lay down and take a nap at like three o'clock in the afternoon or 12 o'clock or whatnot. But if your body needs a nap, and even if it's just like a few minutes of just shut eye, just kind of just closing your eye and maybe just going within, maybe meditation, you don't even need to take a nap. Listen to that. Even if you want to pamper yourself, maybe get a massage or something like that. Listen to that. Self-care is crucial on your spiritual awakening journey because you are experiencing so much. You need time to rest, to recharge. And that's why self-care is so important. So allow yourself to give yourself that time for self-care. It will definitely be highly beneficial for you to really find that balance in your life. Because if you don't, then it's just like you're piling more and more onto you and eventually you're just going to have that rock bottom experience. So by making self-care a very important part of your life, then you can find that balance more easily because then during that self-care, you can like, okay, you can take a breather again. You don't, you're not a workhorse that constantly needs to go, 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 go. You also need time to rest and relax and recharge. And another helpful tip is surround yourself with like-minded people. Being around people who are also on a spiritual awakening journey is very, very beneficial because you are going to experience stuff that is not normal for the people that are not awakening, right? So you can go to your friends who are not awakening and tell them that like, hey, you know, the full moon is totally messing with my, my energy and they're just looking like, what are you talking about? 
right? So they may then try to dim your light. They may try to tell you totally bananas and all that stuff that you're saying doesn't make sense. And then it's going to stop you from really embracing this. It's going to make you feel bad. It's going to make you want to hide behind a mask and not tell your friends that because you feel uncomfortable. You don't want them to think of you as you're crazy or something like that. So that's why having people that are like mine who are also on this journey is really powerful. It's really important. Now you can look in so many different ways. There are meetup groups. There may be people in your area that you know, but having those like-minded people is really important. So you know also that whatever you're experiencing, it's not just you, there are other people that are experiencing as well. So it just makes it so much easier. And of course you get that support as well from them. Maybe they can give you guidance. They can give you tips. They can just tell you, look, you know, it's going to be all right. You know, you're just feeling that because what well, Mercury's in retrograde or there's a new moon, full moon or something like that. So um, it helps you then make sense of certain things much better than if you're just all on your own. And then the next tip is become aware, become aware when you are off course. And it's really about tuning in and discovering what is causing that interference, what is causing you to feel low or whatnot and then decide that you don't want to feel this way no more and then do something about it because with awareness you have because with the awareness comes the power of choice when you're aware that something is misaligned then you can do something about it. you have the choice to do something about it. whether it is maybe taking more time to, for self-care or maybe meditate maybe working with a healer or maybe finding those like my people or you know uncovering your limiting beliefs or doing something to help you shift because then you can of course correct because it is within your power to be in high vib vibration more often to be in that balance it's because by becoming aware when you're not when something is off and then doing something about it to shift your vibration to that higher level maybe not all the way up because it, we don't always want to be all the way up here because then we may have that crash line. So it's about finding that balance, that being in between, because you can be in a high vibe without being too high and then not having that, that crash landing afterwards. So finding that balance is really important. And then the last and final tip is be patient and be gentle with yourself. You will awaken in the speed that you are ready to awaken. You can't force it. You can't resist it. Well, I mean, you can resist it, but that only makes it even more painful. It's meant to unfold. You are meant to awaken no matter what. Your soul decided at one point in your life, it's going to be the time when you are meant to awaken. And even right now, we're being assisted on a collective level to awaken. Because more of us light workers are meant to really assist humanity in bringing back the light. So if you're, you're here listening then I'm pretty sure you have already felt somewhat of a calling that more is possible for you. That maybe you are looking for more of that purpose in life, to live more purposeful life and doing something that's meaningful that will make an impact. Well, that's because you are meant to do that. And your spiritual awakening journey will assist you in finding out what that is. Your spiritual awakening journey will assist you in stepping into your soul's mission in this lifetime. But there is divine timing at play as well. Next, like you can't force it. It happens as fast as you are ready to. Because you may say, well, heck, I want to awaken. I finally want to be there. But you see, the thing is, you're simply not ready to be there yet. You're not ready to advance faster than you are right now. So that's why be gentle with yourself. Uh, don't judge yourself. Be patient because it will unfold in divine timing but it will unfold no matter what and it will unfold in ways that you can't even yet imagine and it's going to be beautiful so just stick with it give yourself the time that you need to really find that balance the more you can work on finding that balance the easier this will become but i want to ask you what is it that you do to find that balance to really feel like you're in that flow do you have like a specific practice that you would like to share with us you know leave a comment below let me know what is it that you do to find that balance or what is it that you doing to just kind of be in that flow and and things just moving smoother let me know i would love to know also if you like this video so far do me a favor hit the like button i would greatly appreciate it, it also would give me more reach on youtube as well and uh, so I can touch more people with my message. But I just want you to know that you're meant to awaken 
and it's gonna be a beautiful journey once you really allow yourself to find that balance then it's gonna be so much easier and of course you know feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so because that's what I focus on to bring you information of how to embrace your spiritual waking journey so you can really you know awaken more gracefully without all that the ups and downs and lefts and right and roller coasters and all of that stuff but I just want to say thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like I said, if you did, do me a favor, hit the like button. Check out the videos that I mentioned uh, to you, the playlist for Empath that can really help you. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Until then, make an amazingly abundant, successful day. Namaste.